this is all going to be determined on what type of thing you sell if you sell artwork if you sell stickers if you sell um greeting cards prints stationery notepads things like that this is the perfect video for you hi everyone i'm natalie henry charles and welcome to my channel so it has certainly been a minute I haven't done a video in over a month and there were a couple reasons why <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know it depends on where you are in the maker world if you're just beginning you probably don't know this yet but the holiday season is our busiest time of the year and this year for me was no different than last year last year I did a ton of in-person shows i was literally at every single show that could possibly be happening in orlando as long as i got accepted and this year it was different because i could not go to shows obviously because of the c word and so i decided that it was very important for me to focus on my sales focus on posting regularly posting in groups getting onto gift lists and just getting my product out there virtually as opposed to being in person. So I focused on wholesale and I focused on my direct to customer, my email list. Um, my email list actually converts pretty well for me. So I just took the extra time to nurture them and to give them freebies and whatnot because I, I really wanted to, uh, make them understand that I wasn't just trying to get sales out of them I was just trying to fulfill a need if they hadn't done so already so the holiday season was absolutely insane and it's probably an excuse but you know the holiday season is a very tough time for me we are it's very back to back so my father's birthday is at the end of October into November my mother and my sister share the same birthday and it's usually around Thanksgiving then there's Thanksgiving, and then usually a few days later, it's Ella's birthday at the beginning of December. So it's back-to-back -back family events, it's back-to-back -back, uh, sales for me because, you know, the holiday, the holiday season is when everyone has, you know, the buying spirit and they want to fulfill, you know, their needs for the holiday season. So people were buying, and even though I, at one point, I stopped running promotions because I was like, okay, I don't want anyone to buy anything. <laughs> And I foolishly thought that if I did not put out any promotions, people wouldn't buy, but people kept buying. So it just ended up being where we had orders out the wazoo. And I just, every time I went to film, I either got a wholesale order or something needed tending to. My tripod broke. I lost an entire memory card. It was insane. So we are back. Happy New Year. I hope that you guys are starting this new year off with a bang we certainly are we've had some amazing press we had a huge big box store pick up our line which is amazing i'm so excited and um yeah so it's it's been it's been very hectic um in addition to that we've had some crazy events happen here in the u.s and you know i'm not gonna get into them here i get into them get into it on my instagram but, you know, this is a very new audience, so people don't necessarily understand things on YouTube. <laughs> and people want to correct you. Every single thing that you do, they want to correct you on YouTube. So I'm going to leave that for my Instagram, um, where I can really get real about all of those things. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and follow, follow me at my business account. It's Pretty Peacock Papery. Um... But yeah, so let's get get into the video for today. So speaking of shipping, we had a ton of a ton of shipments and last year. And last year was the first real year that I would say that I actually was an e-commerce brand. I was mostly in person because I was doing, you know, craft shows and markets and stuff locally. So I would say last year was the first year that I actually learned how to be an e-commerce brand. So today we're going to be talking about shipping. So I'm going to show you all of the different mailers that I have. These are mailers that I have purchased 
Shipping is a beast in and of itself. So I'm going to tell you the key to shipping. The key to shipping is smallest package, tightest package, lightest package. So when you are packing something up for, to do an order, you want to make it as tight and light as possible. <laughs> as possible. And um, that is because things go after a certain point. It depends on which carrier you're using, but things go cubic right so you want to make something as small and compact as you possibly can and as light as you possibly can so for greeting cards it's very tricky this is all going to be determined on what type of thing you sell if you sell artwork if you sell stickers if you sell um greeting cards prints stationery notepads things like that this is the perfect video for you because i'm going to show you exactly what i use to ship out my items and this is if I am going to go the non-branded priority uh, route, USPS has free boxes that you can use. Each one has its own benefits, but it's not it's not always the best option. So on my website for my direct customer sales, I give them free shipping after thirty dollars. So on a thirty dollar order, it's usually about three to four dollars for shipping which is a decent enough uh, price for me because my margins are so good, right? So I offer free shipping after $30. And so I have to make sure that it's the cheapest option for me while still being able to get a tracking number from USPS. So what I have opted for is I purchased various sizes of uh, mailers and it kind of depends on what you sell. So if somebody only purchases like an enamel pin or stickers or one of my little COVID door openers, then pretty much what I'll do is I'll just send it in this tiny little uh, mailer. So this mailer, I got this mailer at mailers mailersusa.com. And so I really like this mailer because it's small, it's light, and even if somebody orders something a little bit smaller than this you can fold it down because it's a poly you can fold it down to the size that you need and then just stick it to that size so if it's a three by three sticker you can make it a little, a little bit smaller than what it would be right and something like this is usually about two dollars to depending on where it goes two to three dollars to ship so sticker wise and then if they were buying stickers they would have to buy a ton of stickers in order to make it to the $30, but it would still fit in here. Um, this one is, I'll have everything linked down below. This will be under the pink mailer. I don't know the exact size of it, but I think it's like a six by nine maybe. So this is good, like I said, for stickers, anything like if you sell something like, for instance, like paper clips or um, any type of office supply that's small, this would be the mailer to go for. So currently I'm selling on four different platforms. So I sell retail wise, I sell on my website, I sell on Etsy, and then wholesale wise, I sell on Fair and Abound. So for my Etsy orders, typically my Etsy orders, I had to find something that would work. My Etsy orders are usually about one card, people will just buy one card, and I have my prices hiked up on my Etsy to include the free shipping. So, and let's just get this straight. So I use Etsy really just as like, really just as a warm audience type thing. So now that they've purchased from me, they now know my brand and now it's my opportunity to sell them. So I use this six by six CD mailer. It's a rigid so that it doesn't get bent. And I really like it because it fits one to two cards, which is usually my average Etsy order. And it's cheap to ship. My battery's dying, of course. <laughs> the next mailer that I use and that I use most frequently is this yellow mailer. This yellow mailer is, I believe it's an eight or so. I don't know. I'll have the, the measurements down below for you guys. This is what I use the most. Uh, most people on my website will buy between five and six cards in order to get to that $30 range. And so if they're only buying cards, stickers, and smaller... It, it will all fit in here. It will also fit my boxed card sets 
so this is the one this is the mailer that i use the most in 2021 i have decided to go away from the poly mailer and go with a paper mailer and the reason for that is is just to use less uh less plastic there's still the bubbles within the inside of the paper one but the outside is not is not uh plastic so that i just feel like it's better for the environment so this is the size that i use the most on my retail site I do have an eight and a half by 11 uh, notepad and also prints that are eight by 10. So if anyone purchases something of that size, it gets put into this mailer. This mailer is, I'm gonna have it linked. It's from Amazon, which I try not to buy from Amazon, but this is one of the best poly mailers I have ever used in my entire life. It is thick. It's, it's thicker than the uh, yellow one for sure. And it's just a very high quality. So when I'm shipping things like the notepads and the prints, I know that it's not going to get demolished in the mail on the way to the customer. So I absolutely love this one. I'll link it uh, down below. The final size that I have for mailers is this massive, I know for a fact because I just sent something, but it's a 14 by a 12 by 14. So this fits my super large print. I have a huge Florida print that I have that I sell in my shop. That fits this print and it actually fits about 40 cards also in it. The reason why I like this is because I also use it for my wholesale customers. If somebody buys a super large print, I can still ship it to them for about $8 as opposed to if I were to send it in a box, it would probably be around 15 to 17 dollars that's crazy right so you want to get as small as possible so this is uh, a mailer that is a rigid mailer so even though I put cards in here it's not gonna get bent it's not gonna get demolished it's not gonna get destroyed in the mail on the way to the customer and then I have some boxes that I also use but I'm gonna do that in a separate video because I don't want this video to get too long Mailers are a great way to ship something if it is small and compact. It's going to be your cheapest option and it's going to be the lightest option where it's not adding additional weight to the actual order that you have to ship out. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you like this type of con content, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next week. Bye!